One day, you're going to look around and you're going to realize that everybody loves you, but nobody likes you. And that is the loneliest feeling in the world. I admit it, another hole got me finished. Broke my heart, oh no you didn't. What is up guys, Norm97 here, back again with another video today. So our first video after 500 subscribers, first off, before we get into this, I want to thank you guys for the outpouring support. Um, with everything, you know, I I went out about my story, I came out with everything that's happened in my life for the past couple months. And, you know, the support's been great, it's awesome, thank you guys so much. And, you know, it's great to see that, um, all the, it's great to see the hockey community's really turned me, turned my life around. So, anyways, let's get into a trade that happened yesterday. Um, now, I did make a little short, like, one minute and, like, 30 seconds long video talking about, um, the trade somewhat. I didn't even look up any analyzation, I just, uh, I just brought it up. But, I do have my notes here on my phone. And uh, we're gonna get into it. How does this? How does this? How is this a win for both teams? Now that's a question that a lot of people are asking. I'm sure you guys see that. You guys saw the title. You're like, why? Why is? How is there a win for both teams? We'll get into that. First off, the actual trade. So New York receives future considerations. So they don't get anything currently. And the Detroit Red Wings. The Detroit Red Wings receive a 2021 second round pick. Which, you know, could help them out in the future, you know. It's a second round pick, you never know. Maybe that can translate into another trade that could happen in the future. And defenseman Mark Stahl. Now, Mark Stahl is a 33 years old. He's a defenseman, as I said. Uh, he played 52 games this season, had 2 goals, 9 assists for 11 points. Uh, in the playoffs, in 3 games, he was one. He had 1 goal. So, um, there you go. Uh, his caps, his cap space, which will be important in a second here. His cap space is five point seven million dollars, and his contract expires in twenty 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 one. Now, how does this affect both teams? Now, this is the win for both teams because on the New York side of things, you get rid of cap space. You know, Mark Stahl's been with the Rangers for a long time. Five point seven million dollars is a lot of money. You get rid of that cap space, that's perfect. That, and especially to a team like Detroit, you know, and on a team that's rebuilding and is likely not going to make the playoffs next year. Um, I think that you're you're gonna you, Detroit can take on this cap, so that's why they sent him to him. And how does this win? How is this a win for Detroit? Well, they get a second round pick out of it, which you know could be selected. Could could select someone out of the out of the twenty twenty one draft, which we'll see what happens with that. And with with the Mark Stahl thing, Detroit's defense was absolutely atrocious. So you know, I mean. I mean, Mark Stahl, Mark Stahl's not exactly the the guy to, like, change your defense entirely, but he's just, he's definitely a start. I think that, you know, getting, ha adding him to the Detroit defense, I think that's going to, that, 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 that could up the team significantly. So, as a, as a Red Wings fan, don't necessarily be hyped about him getting you points. Be hyped about him with defensively. This guy's a veteran, he knows what he's doing, and he's not going to mess around. So, yeah. Um... You know, it's a good trade for both teams. Pretty much a win for both teams. It's a, it's a fun, interesting little trade that um happens. I wonder what um New York's going to get back, to be honest with you. Um, I don't really understand the future considerations thing that well. And, uh, you know, with Mark Stahl, he's been a veteran for the Rangers for a long time. And uh, seeing, him in a, he, seeing him in a different jersey is going to feel pretty weird. So, yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, hit the subscribe button. Uh, this is just a little short, not in the video. I just want to go into deeper, deeper analyzation on this trade. Tell you guys the reason why both teams won this trade and just end the video there. So yeah, thank you for the outpouring support on the channel. We're almost, we're 90 subs away from 600. That's just unbelievable to hear right now. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys.